Hey, good morning everyone. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Thanks for checking out this channel. If you are brand new, welcome here. We're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in ways that are sustainable for the rest of your life. So if you are new, consider subscribing. Hey, for the rest of you, guess what we're doing today? We're gonna work some upper body, okay? My last workout, the last video was all cardio. That was crazy, that was intense. I hope you did it with me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the card right above there and you can check that video out because it was one hour of high intensity intervals and I was dying by the end. My glutes are very sore today. We did a lot of jumping and hopping. Not so much today, okay? Today we're really going to focus on working our upper body. So here's your format. We'll do 45 seconds of work. We'll go into 15 seconds of rest to transition. And I'm really going to break up the body parts here today. So we'll focus on chest and tries, we'll focus on back and buys, uh, then shoulders, and then we'll focus on some abs, all right? So three sets of everything, four circuits for you today, and <laughs> that's what we're doing. Doesn't it sound fun? Hey, if you want specific styles or types of workouts, I'm going to just randomly throw some cards up here right now. We've got playlists for band workouts, okay? I think I've got seven or eight band workouts in there. We've got playlists for 60 minutes or longer. If you are like, hey, I love the long workouts. Where are they? How do I find them? How do I add them to my own playlist? Click the card. If you like, um, what else do I have up there? If you like um, strength workouts, strength, kind of like what we're doing today, then click that card up there. Anyway, make sure that you add them to your own playlist so you can develop your own workouts so that you can become strong and fit and move daily. All right, let's get started. You're gonna need a set of dumbbells, variety of dumbbells for this workout, your water, BCAs, and towel, and we're getting the oven right now. If you haven't done a warm up, I'm gonna point to the cards again. Go ahead and click that one up there and you can do that warm up with me. I'm ready to go, so I'm gonna get started. We're going down to the ground, grab your dumbbells, and let's get going here. All right, starting with a chest press pulse. So I've got some 15s here, and we're just gonna do a little pulse press. Okay, so you do a little, little pulse there, and then you do a full range of motion, all right? So we're going for 45 seconds, ready, and here we go, little pulse, full range press, all right? So doing that little pulse just keeps more tension on the muscles the entire time. Really does add more tension to the exercise. So we're gonna do this for shoulders as well when we do our military press later in the workout, so be ready for that. Whew. See, already we got some burn going on. 15 seconds left. Good. Make sure your elbows come all the way to the ground here. I like doing chest press from the ground because if you're on a bench, sometimes your elbows dip quite low, below 90 degrees. You might use a little shoulder to get that dumbbell up. That's it there. This way, it's all chest. All right, moving to a single side chest fly. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. We're gonna go one side at a time, arms are rounded. All right, and single side flies. Ready? So down and squeeze, just like that. All right, really controlling the action here, especially since when you're on one side, it's gonna tend to pull you. You're gonna feel like tipping your body to the side to compensate, but don't. Okay, that's the work, is if you keep your body still, your hips still, and really focus on using that pectoral minor to get that weight back up. Now I've switched, I'm a little bit light here, but I will go heavier next round. I'm still kind of in warm up mode here. All right, seven more seconds. Remember your rep range is pretty high today, so you gotta lift within that. All right, excellent. So I'm gonna use the same weights. We're gonna go into a overhead tricep extension. All right, so just straight overhead here. Just bending at the elbow, watch your skull. Ready? Let's go. Down and up. That's it. All right, I'm gonna switch this on the next time as well. We're just gonna add another action, so be ready for that. But right now, we've just got our single 
overhead tricep. All right. Now really be sure that the shoulder doesn't move on this one. Okay, we're just bending at the elbow, pressing straight back up. And because there's not a lot of rest in between, you gotta make sure that you're lifting in the proper rep range for that, all right? I mean, if you were taking a minute in between, you could possibly lift a lot heavier, but we're keeping the flow going here today. Good, all right, back to our chest press pulse. So go ahead, go back to heavier, little pulse and full press. Ready? And here we go. Pulse and up. Whew, yeah. It's a burner on the arms, that's for sure. Stay over the chest, not the neck on this. In the last 15 seconds. Keep that pulse going. Little one and then full range in four, three, two, and time. All right, good. We're going to do that single side chest fly. Um, I think I will actually keep the 15s. Challenge myself a little bit. In five, four, three, two, and single side. Slow, slow, together. Good. I find it when you're on a bench, if you're on a bench or a Swiss ball, your tendency to really use the rest of your body is a lot higher because you feel a little bit more less sta or less stable. Or unstable, there we go. So if you are on a bench right now, really try to avoid rocking your hip to catch the weight back up, okay? Keep it still. Mm, think about your chest. Put your mind in your chest muscles right here. All right, good. Shake that out. Moving back to our overhead tricep extension. We're going to do one tricep extension, one tape press, okay? Alternating. Just to switch it up. Why wouldn't we? It'd be more fun that way. Ready? Here we go. So you're back, two, up, turn, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. All right? You got that? Down, down, up. See how close the weights are staying to my head? to each other, all right? Don't let them separate. Especially on that tape press, they come straight back up. Down, two, up. Whew. All right, last eight seconds. Good, all right, repeating. One more round here, going back to our pulse press. Grab your heavy weights. Get ready in five, four, three, two, and here we go. Little pulse and squeeze. Cardio moves after this first circuit, just to get our heart rates up a little bit. Okay, I know I said mostly it's just gonna be weights, no jumping and hopping, but I do like to get a nice sweat on no matter when I'm working out. You can bypass that if you wanna just strictly do strength today with no cardio since we did that the other day. Oh, but literally it's gonna be two minutes long. So join me if you like. Okay, back to your triceps. Sorry, to your chest flies. I'm using the same weights. Single side chest flies. In three, two, and here we go. Slow, slow, squeeze. Slow and up. Really make sure your arm is rounded, not bending your elbow, okay? 
In fact, your elbows should not come to the ground. You should just hover above the ground. Then you won't get any bounce back from the ground. And you have to rely just on your muscles to get that weight back up. Good. Last five seconds. This is getting heavy. All right, now back to those triceps. And we'll do the same thing as the second round, overhead extension, tape press combo. Okay, get ready in five, four, three, two, here we go. Overhead and tape and On that overhead extension, concentrate on getting those dumbbells really close to your head. That way you're going to avoid letting those elbows swing out to the side. Straight up and down. Last 15 seconds here. Press straight up to the ceiling. Up. Flex at the top on both actions here. Good, that was a good pump in the triceps. All right, let's go into little cardio moves. Okay, we're gonna start with just a one, two, three hop. So your one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Just modify with a little step side to side high knee. Get ready in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, stay nice and low on this guy. The name of the game in these cardio circuits is just to elevate the heart rate. Um, you know, we're lying down a lot in the chest and the back. And uh, I like to get my most bang for my buck when I'm working out. So adding a little active rest, working the legs, working the heart, while I let my chest and tries rest is a good idea for me. Whew. 15 seconds left here. Ice skater to the giant hop is coming up. Three, two, and time. Shake that out. Okay. Modify this by step, high knee, step, high knee. Okay, otherwise we're gonna skate, jump, skate. In three, two, here we go. Here, high, here, high. That's it. Anytime you're jumping, you are elevating that heart rate. That's for sure. Of course, it requires more energy. Ergo, we're burning more calories. Bonus. Woo, a little tippy. 10 seconds. Center jack, side jack coming up. Rest here for a second. Modify by center jack, side squat, okay? Otherwise we're gonna jack, side, okay? Ready, here we go. Center jack, side. Center jack, side. That's right. I didn't explain that very well, sorry. You'll get it.
Just 22 seconds a side here. I'll call halfway. Last one there. All right, switch sides and row. Bum is down. Four seconds. Great. All right, let me get some concentration curls for biceps. Have a seat on the side of something. Pull your sports bra up. Hinge forward at the waist for a bicep curl on the inside of the leg. Ready? Here we go. Okay, palm is up. You're coming across the body. Flex at the top. 22 seconds aside again here. All right, don't race through this. Lift as heavy as you can for 22 seconds. All right, I've got the 15 here. Switch sides. Should be able to get between eight and 10 reps. Let's see what we got here. Last five seconds. All right, good. Lying on your back, we're doing a dumbbell pullover with a bridge. All right, so get into a bridge position. All right, hips are up, arms are overhead, and we're slowly descending all the way behind you. So slow, slow, and up. Slow, slow, and up. Now, if you remember from a month or two ago, this was the exercise that I did that kind of dislocated my shoulder. That wasn't fun. Now, a couple of different things. I was using a barbell. My palms were facing up, not facing each other as they're doing now. Okay, and I was lifting heavier. So, just be cautious on this exercise. Go within your abilities. All right? Put your mind in your lats. And just Keep the weight a little bit lighter till you're used to the exercise, okay? You can go heavier on the one arm row. Okay, it's more stable, so I'm gonna pull your arm out of its socket. Let's go back to here. Ready? And here we go. I'll call halfway again. See how high my arm is going up? And I'm pulling back. Retracting that scapula, hitting those rhomboids, those middle back muscles. Switch arms. Here we go. And up. Feet are wide to give me a good tripod so I'm not tippy. You want to make it more difficult, you can go together. Okay, just like this. Much more difficult. I have to work to fight for my balance. Last one there. All right, good. Let's go to that bicep curl, concentration curl. Ready? In four, three, two, and here you go. Nice and slow on the descent. Working that eccentric part of the lift as well. Not just the up phases work. If you go slow on that descent, you are recruiting a lot of muscle fibers. All right, switch sides here. If you only have light weights, that's how you can make it more difficult. Keep it slow on the descent, on the down phase. Okay, up. Almost there, in four, three, two, and time. All right, back to that dumbbell pullover. Bridge position. Hips are up. All right, we're gonna do an alternating leg lift this time. So every time your leg goes down, or arms go down, alternating legs come up. 
Okay, oops. And up. Leg and up. Straight arms. Otherwise, you're hitting triceps, not lats. This is a little lat, a little tricep, a little chest exercise here. And now we've made it a little glute. All right, great. Repeat. Last round here. Let's go back to the one arm row. In three, two, here we go. One more this side. All right, give me a good quick switch. Here we go. Ten seconds. Last one. Uh, woo! That's good. Feel strong when I lift heavy. It's good. Need to do that. Lots and lots. Ready? Here we go. My girlfriends just sent me a picture of us from uh, a girls trip in Las Vegas 10 years ago. Last one here, switch sides. And uh, I was a little bit smaller then, way less wrinkles for sure. <laughs> but still fit, still, and then it just made me go, you know what, for 10 years, more than that actually, but um, I've been a trainer for 11 years, so it's been a long time since I've really been training with intention, right? Avidly training. And it feels good. I'm glad that I that I kept that up and it's been a part of my life. And it just goes to show that it can be your lifestyle, right? It doesn't have to be just a seasonal thing. Ready? Legs as well. So straight arms and leg. Hip up, straight and leg. Halfway. We're heading into some cardio again. Three moves. Okay. All right. Great. Set your weight to the side. Come to standing quickly. Starting with the frog squat. Okay, touching the ground, jack in the middle, modify right here. Here we go. Good, touch the ground. Get those glutes fired up here. Moving to shoulders next, okay. Make sure you get right down, touching the ground. Means you have to bend your knees, get into that squat there. Climb the ladders, coming up. In three, two, and time. Woo, shake it out for a sec. Climb the ladder. It's high knees, reaching the hands up. Modify here. Okay, ready? Let's go. We're 
Working those hands, gonna get our heart rate up a little bit faster. Almost there, last 20, come on. Up knees, knees are up, come on. Whew. Okay, good job. Let's go into a little mountain climber. Drive the knees up to the chest, okay? Ready? Really crunch those knees in. Not just a toe tap. Drive them in, bum it down. That's it, over half, come on. Hamstring too. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Keep going. Ugh. Okay. That was killer. Good. Water break. Shoulders is coming up. Okay. Grab some lighter weights. Shoulders now. There's the light. Okay. Starting with a lateral. To high front raise in three, two, and here we go. Out to the side, up high, down to the front. So lateral, high front, okay, just like that. Stick your chest out with each one here. Up, high, slow, slow. Good. You really want to make sure that you're not rounding through the shoulders here, okay? Especially when you come down right here, you can tend to round there. That's why I kind of stick my chest out anew each time. That was so geeky, who says that? Stick your chest out. Apparently I do. Okay, last one here. Out, up, and down. All right, remember what I said, we're gonna do a little pulse press. We're gonna do it with the military press. So both arms up, pulse and pulse full range, okay? Get ready, whoo, it's gonna burn. Three, two, here we go. Little pulse and full and up. There it is, up, up, up. See already, it's burning. I'm not gonna be able to do it the whole way for sure. See what happens is that lactic acid just builds, right? And then we haven't given enough time to dissipate, so there it is. Just burn it like a son of a gun. Up. And adding that little pulse is like holding an isometric contraction on the shoulders. All right, I'm complaining a lot, I know. You know what, I think I might make it. It's only eight seconds left. Whew. It's hard though. Up, up. And that's it, good job. Okay, plank position. It's a little shoulder, rear shoulder tricep combo. We're doing a plank position. You're gonna do a reverse fly, tricep kick back, okay? Grab my eight here. Here we go. 22 seconds aside, okay? Up and kick. Up and kick. Try to keep your hips facing the ground. This would've been easier if I alternated. What was I thinking? All right, now you're gonna switch. Whew, it's hard on that holding shoulder. Okay, next time we do it, I'll alternate. Up and kick. You can choose which way you'd like to do it. Oh. Five seconds, last one, and kick. Yeah, whoa, that's hard doing it on one side. Okay. Back to the lateral high front. Oh, I don't know if our shoulders are ready, but we're going. 
for it. Ready? Let's do it. Up, high, down. Chest out. Up to 90, and then higher. Up. Swing it in the front there. Up, up, down. Last one. Up, up, and relax. All right, a little break for a second. Just once that goes down. All right, we're going to that pulse press for the shoulders. In four, three, two, here we go. Little and full range pulse. Watch yourself in a mirror or something so you're coming down to 90 on that pulse and then back to 90 before the press, okay? Don't arch your back. If you feel like you're doing so, you could take it one step behind, okay? Or you could sit down and bring a foot behind. If you have a bench or a chair. Oh, now, it's, uh, now I'm dying, that's it. Brutal. Up, and last 10 seconds. One more. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, shake it out. Tricep, kick back, reverse fly, combo. This time, alternating, okay? Or you can keep it how it was, I don't care. You do it, you do you. Here we go. Reverse fly, kick, switch. Reverse and kick, switch. Bum is down. Flex that tricep at the back there. Fifteen seconds. In four, three, two, and time. Woohoo! Okay, last round. Lateral high front. Ready, and start. Up. Oh. Oh. Thinking about that side shoulder cap here. Pop slow. Halfway. In four, three, two, and time. Okay, a little break for a second. Back down into that plank. Don't go there yet. Stay standing for our military press, sorry. Ready, and pulse press. It's a burner, I'll tell ya. Ugh. Can I do it this whole time? Feels like I can't right now, but I'm gonna try. Sometimes it's just mind over matter too, right? Like is it gonna start burning more? Is it just burn? And that's gonna be the measure of the burn. I kind of feel like that's the case. Seven seconds. Yes, I can do it. Woo! In three, two, one. Ah! That was hard though. But you know, again, mind over matter. Okay. Ready? And here we go. 
here we go. <laughs> um, did I ever tell you that my husband did the Ironman? Um, here in Canada, they had an Ironman. It's a crazy competition, honestly. What is it? You do a 200 some kilometer bike race. No, 160 kilometer? I don't know. I should know this, but 2.2 kilometer swim and then a full marathon. It's, it's nuts. He trained for it about nine, nine years ago, eight years ago, as like a bucket list thing. And he's quite muscular, but he like leaned down so much. He was doing so much cardio, he couldn't even keep his muscle size on. His cardio was really good though. Oh, just goes to show you different athletes have such different bodies, eh? Oh, we're going to our cardio, speaking of which. Okay, let's start with split, split, squat. Anyway, oh yeah, my story about that. Split, split, squat. He, he was on the bike and he had already swam. He didn't do great in the swim because he had never actually done, he had never actually done a marathon or any sort of race before in his life. This was his first one. He picks like the most, almost the most difficult race in the world. Smart fella. Anyway, he like, he almost drowned on the swim. And then he comes out on the bike and I'm feeling so bad for him. I want him to quit because I don't want him to die. And you can hear ambulances in the background, right? So I'm like, please honey, just, you can give up. You don't have to do it. And one of our friends, rest for a second. All right, let's do a cardio kicks right here. One of our friends who's a therapist said, Tracy, don't tell him that. It's all in his mind whether he can do it or not do it. That's where the race starts and finishes. And if he doesn't think he can, he won't. If he thinks he can, he's put in the training time. Had he not trained and thought he could, different story, but he trained for a year plus. So he said, starts and ends in the mind. I believe that's true. So keep that in mind as we're hopping away here. Whew. Get those feet up. Ooh, this is a good burner here for me. My legs feel like lead today. Ugh, brutal. Butt kicks because I need something easier. Get ready. Then we're moving to abs and ab sequence. Ready? Start. Here we go. You want something more difficult? Feel free to do some tuck jumps or star jumps. Something to kick it up. That's it. Have any of you done an Ironman? I'd love to hear in the comments below what you thought of that race and that process. I'll never do it. That is, I've done two half marathons and my knee just starts to kill each time. So, okay, take a break and we'll move on to abs, okay? On to your abs now. So two of the exercises are gonna be using dumbbells. Let's start with a Russian twist, shoulder press right like that, okay? 45 seconds with 15 seconds in between. Here we go, touch the ground, press, touch, up. All right, you can go as heavy or as light as you want on this, right? And of course, you need to modify, put your legs on the ground, stay leaning back, all right? Otherwise, you're up in the air. Try not to crisscross your legs, okay? Try to just use your abs to keep up that tension here. And of course, adding a little shoulder press just to burn out the shoulders a little bit because why not? It's upper body day. All right, almost there. We've got 10 more seconds here. Going into a boat pose rocker, coming up. 22 seconds aside, and I'll show you that in three, two, and time. 
All right, so start in this 90 degree position. Arm is gonna be tucked in by your side. I'll show you this side. You're rocking back, legs come to 45 degree angle. As you rock up, you press to the ceiling. All right, ready? And here we go. Low and press. Now, if you're feeling this in the neck and you wanna support your head with your hands slightly, feel free to do this like that. Okay, up. Whew. I will call halfway as I said. All right, switch hands, low and up. You can switch on the fly, keep it going. You're rocking the body though, okay? So nice and rounded. 10 seconds left. Good, in four, three, two, and time. Set that down. Let's go into a low scissor position. Lying on your back, you can put your hands underneath your bottom for some back support. Okay, you're just doing a nice low scissor toward the ground. Ready? And here we go. Now, up high like this is gonna be easier. Super low, just hovering over the ground, a bit more difficult. You decide. A reprieve if you need it, and then pop back in as soon as you can. 20 seconds left. Whew. A lot of the lower wall here is being felt into those hip flexors. Three, two, and one. Get a little stretch there. A little roll on that lower back. We're repeating the circuit here. Okay, getting into that Russian twist. Make sure you're not dizzy with the weight or not. Ready, and here we go. Low, press. Feet up off the floor if you want a little bit more difficult here. Good, halfway. Stay leaning back as far as you can. Last 10 seconds here. Oh, this is hard. I feel hard on my tailbone. Why is that so sore right now? I don't know. Oh. In three, two, and time. Ugh, gross. Stretch it out, boat rocker. It's coming up right now, so let's do it. Ready, 90 degrees. Welcome back, pressing up. And here we go. Low and press. Holy, my stomach is so sloshy right now. It's funny, because I haven't heard of this whole session, except for right here. All right, switch. Low and up. Every time I lie down, it's like oh. That's interesting. And I'm sure you don't care if that my stomach is doing that. That's the beauty of having your own channel. <laughs> you can kind of say what you want, because it's your channel. And what are people gonna say? Actually, you guys are all so supportive in the comments below. Someone said to me, what do you do with haters? I'm like, honestly, no one has said anything bad so far. They haven't, actually one man did. What did he say? Uh, scissors, actually two, but this was years ago. So one man said to me once, um, I did a, a video, this is like eight years ago, on TEF, T-E-F-F, -F, and it's like a Ethiopian brain that was kind of like all new in the celebrity world at the time, right? Like when Paltrow was using it, Jennifer Aniston. And I found it and did a, a banana coconut teff pancake recipe. Actually, I mean, it got quite a few hits at the time and it still actually does. I think it ranks up there quite high. Anyway, it's a very old video and poorly done, but anyway. He just the other day said to me, um, by the way, teff is not a new grain, it's millions of years old. 
I'm like, okay, A, this video is eight years old, guy. And I know, but it's new to me, so just shush. All right, one more round, ready? And here we go. Then, probably 10 years ago I started, I started this channel, but over the, I was only, I've only been really active this last year. But I did a, a figure competition years ago, like 10 years ago. So I did a diary, like a vlog, of my training process. And one of the videos that I did, I was talking about my struggle with cutting out sugar and how hard it was and that I just didn't, I, I didn't, it was a struggle. Like I didn't understand why I was struggling so much. Excuse me. Anyway, he's like, well, it's pretty simple. Like you, you don't have enough protein. You'll totally curb all your sugar cravings if you go up, pro if you go uh, ha increase your protein. Anyway, he was quite derogatory. I don't remember the whole extent of it, but I remember writing or doing another vlog to counter what he had said. And my title of it is, to the idiot on YouTube who doesn't think um, going off sugar is hard. <laughs> anyway, then I blasted him. Because it's not just, like what, what people don't understand there, it's not just, I'm addicted to sugar and I like that quick taste in my mouth. It's why am I going to sugar? What's driving me? Why do I pick up that toe and chocolate bar when I'm sad or when I think my friends have talked about me or when I have a fight with my husband? Like those are the things that I was more interested in. And he was basically just saying, if you change this in your diet, it will go away, you dumb dumb girl. Anyway, blah blah blah. It was funny. That, but really, honestly, that's my only, uh, the only two people who have ever said anything negative. All the rest of you have been fabulous, so thank you. Maybe as this channel grows, it'll get more haters, but right now, I'm digging it. Ready, last scissor right here. And I appreciate you saying what you'd like to see more of. Um, I know one girl's been asking for a kettlebell workout. It is coming. Um, my kettlebells have been in my husband's vehicle and I keep forgetting to get them out. But um, I have written the, the program already that I'd like to do for that workout. So not to worry, it's coming. But as always, you can feel free to make requests down below in the comments. Because as you know, I read them all. And uh, want to be here to help you on your fitness, wellness, and nutrition journey. Oh my gosh, that's it. Okay, you're done. All right, great job everyone. Stay for a little cool down if you can. We'll just do a little upper body stretch here. Let's round through the back and stretch through those lats. Ah, that felt good. Nice to do some weights. I think it's important to integrate that, not just be the cardio queen and, uh, and try to just burn fat that way. Because as I said in maybe it was the other day's video, uh, hands behind the back and stretch through the chest. The, the more lean muscle tissue you have, the more fat your body's gonna burn. It makes your body more metabolic. So, so it only benefits you to lift weights. Uh, besides, you're gonna love what you look like when you sculpt the body that way, right? As opposed to just being, uh, you know, maybe it's just skinny but no muscle tone. Um, yeah. So I think that's really important to make sure that you continue to integrate resistance training. Arms back, thumbs down. Let's give those wrists a little roll there. Whew, okay. That looked like maybe about 45, 50 minute workout. Good job, everyone. That's good for your Saturday. I can go, hopefully, actually it's supposed to be sunny on Saturday. I'm filming this on Wednesday right now, but I know that uh, Saturday looks like it's gonna be a sunny, gorgeous day, so hopefully you'll have a good Saturday afternoon enjoying your weather in your hometown. Definitely gonna be outside for that. Celebrating my daughter's 16th birthday on uh, Sunday with the fam. Gonna do a little brunch with everyone, so I'm excited. And on Monday, she goes for a license. Oh! So that's really exciting for her. That kid literally has been practicing the driver's test because they can. there's a little app online you can do it with since she was 11, since her brothers started driving. So if she doesn't pass, <laughs> she'll pass, right? 
Like she gets 100% on the test every single time, but what if she freezes? I'll feel so sad for her. She'll pass, it'll be fine. And then she's like, I'm driving home from the uh, ICBC, right? I'm like, honey, you don't even know how to drive yet. So probably we should teach you that first. I have been taking her up in the hills a little bit, but you don't know how to do lights, Piper. So don't be like crashing day one here. All right, you rocked. Thanks for joining me. I love your support. I love this community. And uh, I just really thank you for being a part of it. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And if you want another upper body resistance training workout, go ahead and click or tap the screen here or here for more just like that. And I will see you in the next video.